Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Castlevania Curse of Darkness for the PS2. I am Kyler Gaming, also known as Lost in the Abyss for my old ones, and as, old ones, for my older videos, and as you can see, I have added my camera. Well, that was not supposed to move. There's what's supposed to move. Uh... But yeah, I am redoing this series because now I can actually record it from my PS2. And as such, I shall be playing through entirely without much more troubles, hopefully. Second time I had to record this because of uh, the audio was not mixed right. Couldn't think of it. I shall be yeah, as you can see I put in basically 47, almost an hour's worth of game time into playing just to end up having to delete the content. Well, for context on what I'm going to be doing for this game, Uh, I'll be trying to get every weapon I can. I will be grinding off screen for materials and levels and whatnot. And as for the cutscenes, I'm not going to talk over them for the most part. This one, however, I will because it's, well, the text is on screen there. And it scrolls slow enough you can read it. Out of the darkness from the soul, a champion rose. This is playing off of an old fat body PS2. If you see me looking over, it's because I'm looking at it to make sure it's still running. I have it upscaled through HDMI into a video capture card, so it may look a little bit darker than the game's supposed to. Just a little bit. Water. So what's for dinner? Oh. During actual cutscenes, I will not be talking at all, and I won't be going over the different tips. If you, this game's like, I don't know how old. I could go grab the box, but point is, it is old. If you haven't played it yet, you need to. Track me down. <laughs> I was the one who lured you here. Hector, the fool who betrayed our Lord Dracula. That matters not. I've come to exact my revenge upon you for the death of Rosalie. Oh, and how would you have this revenge? <laughs> when you are utterly at my mercy, you relinquished your power. to defeat me. <laughs> Your Dracula is gone, but
matter can be transformed into a hellish devil there are but two humans who possess this magnificent power you and I <laughs> I shed that evil power never again will I use it ah but you will Hector and soon you have no choice But that wouldn't be very satisfying, no, would it? You deserve a most gruesome fate for the humiliation you brought upon me three years ago. Bereft of the power of devil form, you cannot hope to proceed. That is why you will reclaim your powers and thence follow where I lead you. But <laughs> Wait, Isaac! Damn him. Shame. It's the same as the gods. They lay claim to the curse of power once more. Heed my words. I will hunt you down like the beast you are! Okay, well then, that was Isaac, and yeah, for those of you who are fans of the anime, you may notice that Isaac is entirely different, and Hector is as well. Hector's not some timid little man boy like he is in the anime, and Isaac is... Well, best way to put it is a BDSM model. But instead of pursuing Isaac, we're going to go back here. Got a double jump off the bat. I'm not going to explain the combo system or any of that. It just takes too long. You'll be able to pick it up if you pay attention to how I play. And just so y'all know, without the, uh, with the way I'm recording this, I don't have game audio. Like, for real, I'm basically just singing the songs in my head because of how often I play this. I don't know how to get game audio through this. I'm surprised I even got this working. I'm not that technologically... Savvy, Savvy. I'm not that well with a lot of uh, technology that I haven't used for a while. I can barely even use my computer half the time, it feels like. Which is very considering that I'm recording a video and playing games for people to potentially watch online. Uh, the old series will still be up. I will still let people watch that, though I will be discontinuing them. And recording from this way. Uh, I'm just going to cut the recording real quick. I'll be back over there just to try to shave off some time. Be right back. And we're back. I just wanted to shave off those few seconds of the walk back. Uh, for those of you who are in the know of this game, you know we get these creatures called Innocent Devils. My plans for the Innocent Devils are pretty simple. I will have someone I know give me names for them. And I'll be showing them the starting form and the final form I'm aiming for. 
so they can know what the final form of the creature is going to be looked like. And yeah, I I know I'm not moving. It's because I'm trying to think about how to explain this. Uh, basically, in whatever area I'm in of the game, I will get an instant devil. Or every area that I have instant devils, starting from this first area here. I don't have any yet, but I will be getting one soon. Uh, I will be evolving them. At least one evolution per area. And if I need to, which I probably will, I will be pausing the recording to do multiple evolutions. I will keep track and make sure to get the last crystals on recording so that way people can see the evolutions. Those of you who haven't seen them versus those who have will know what it is I am doing when it comes to those. Now let's go fight the first enemy of the game. Meet the Executioner, level 2, whereas we are level 1, a relatively easy enemy. L1's the lock on. Oh, I already said I wasn't going to explain combat, but whatever. L1's lock on. R1 is the guard. It's pretty much all I'm going to explain. As I'm just going to do basic combos. Memorial ticket. Uh, I'll hit that on the way back. Now. Before I cut the video a moment ago, the enemy, skeletons, level 1, they're pretty weak. But they drop a material we need. Uh, anyway, back to what I was saying. You may have noticed earlier, back in that part where I went backwards, we had a potion that I picked up. In that area, if you have Lament of Innocence data, which is another Castlevania game, on the memory card, of the PS2 you're playing, the uh, there being an item from Lament of Innocence there that is for well, selling. You sell it, you get I think three thousand to five thousand. I think it's three thousand. Not entirely sure. I usually keep it throughout the entire game. Ooh, Rosario clears his screen. Even enemies that aren't on screen gets cleared. It's basically a room clear. Or a zombie's nuke, if you're a Call of Duty player. Anyway, and yeah, we got our first materials. Bronze. Really useful material. Not really used much, but there's some things that it is. Another new enemy, Fenrir. It's level 5. It may be level 5, but it still goes down just as easily. Now, Wild Memory. Kind of rare to get those from Fenrir's. You know, they are the first thing that can drop it. I'm surprised we got one that pass. I wonder if I'll get lucky and get the Fenrir's hidden drop. No. Now, I will be trying to 100% the maps. There's some maps that I can't 100% on the first go round. I'll have to come back to finish them off. This area is one of those. However, I will be getting 100% of what I can get at the top. Save room. I won't be sitting in this save room to save it, because I know I'm not going to die. Heck, I could probably just not even save it until the final area, but 
I'm feeling a little bit lazy when it comes to saving. Oh yeah, I forgot. We got our dodge ability. Quick step. Combined with uh, a later ability we get, later in the same castle area that we're in now, we'll have the best movement option in the game. Oh, and a map. Move my camera over so you can see. It shows the map, how much you've presented it, you know, how much you've done of it. You can zoom out to show what it looks like. Keep in mind, these maps are not complete. Uh, as you can see here, there's an area there. there. Move my camera back, and then let's continue on. Fenrir's are real easy to kill when you know what to do. Same with skeletons, they're pretty much a one shot once you get up above level 3. Whenever they're the level 1 versions. We have a new enemy, a Cyclops. As you can see, he hits hard and he's tough. Takes a good beating before he's dead. But he is dead. I will be grinding, well, collecting all these materials, skeletons, whatever. I'll kill any enemy I see if it's an enemy I can't kill. And here we have a special door. I'll be quiet for this. It's enough to make the blood run cold. Who are you? Oh, my apologies, my lord. I should have offered you assistance. I go by Zion. I'm here for one purpose only. To purify this land of the pestilent curse which infects it. Hmm. You, on the other hand, are pursuing the other devil force master, Anahir. The one you seek fled to near the chapel on the other side of the mountain. He made his escape through the back of the temple. What concern is this to you? He is the one protecting the curse. Ergo, he is an impediment to me and to all those who abide in his will. I see. Very well. I have to thank you for your help. Now, if you'll forgive me, I must be on my way. Alright, 
and now we have our first instant devil. As I said before, someone is naming these for me, so I will have names picked out for each one. The first one here is named Gwen. And Gwen here is a fairy. I'm not going to go over all that. If you want to read it, it's nothing important. It's just telling you, you know, hearts are the fairy's health bar. Their special abilities take health. And fairies can open treasure chests. As well as heal. They're the healers of the game. Instant Devils level up like you level up. The, the more enemies you kill, the more experience they gain. Speaking of which, Gwen here should be getting the next or her first level up soon. For the most part, I will cut out backtracking when it's doing something unimportant. But, this is not unimportant. And you may be wondering, well, why is this one not unimportant? It's because I'm going to show you how ridiculously long the save times are. As you can see, I have, from the previous attempt, a 47 minute video. Well, 47 minutes as game time. This does not count, uh, real time. You know, it doesn't count cutscenes. As such, see here, level 2, 16 minutes. I save over that. Because I spent less time explaining things than I did last time. Should have like 14, 15 minutes instead of 16. I don't think it counts for saving as well. Not too sure on that. If we go back and sit back down to see the save screen again, you can see there 14 minutes. Whereas I have been recording for around 24 minutes. So we have a solid 10 minutes of cutscenes added on. All right. I guess it could cut out everything else from the save room, but already almost done, so. Hmm. 
don't really know what to say for now. Mine's kind of drawing a blank. Uh, we're going to have a new enemy coming up here in a moment. I can't wait to get the fast movement option. And with me recording, you can, I can actually have a timer to see how long or how much faster it actually is. Uh, going here just to mark it on the map because I don't think I did. And let's see. Yeah, Gwen is level two. And we are level two. So I am one experience away from leveling up, and I don't know how many like Gwen is. Here's our new enemy the Merman. Level four, it's not that difficult. One combo takes out just like everything else in this area, besides the executioners and the um, cyclops from upstairs. You may notice that we didn't come this way before, and there's a reason for that. We needed the drag quest crest that we got from in front of the uh, instant devil room. Another executioner. And we got the beast cherries. Now we can look and see what the descriptions of each creature is. However, I shall not be doing that yet. Okay, I think we got everything. New enemies, the ghosts. I said this in the failed recording, but I don't know if that fire from the lantern hurt you or not, whenever you kill them. I've had it hurt me before, but it might just been getting hit from a, another enemy. So I'm not entirely sure. Either way, they're like a 3 for hit kill. It doesn't matter for them. Don't drop anything special, I don't think. Another save room. They're just littering them in this place for people who want to start but don't have much in the way of time. Wonder if we'll get lucky and get the rare drop from these guys. Nope. Yeah, this is the room I'm thinking of, okay. This room here houses something special. The first instance of physics. A 
as well as a somewhat unique item that you can get here. And there it is, a bottle of wine. If you're lucky, you can get multiple per time you're in the room. Okay. Now I'm going to pause the recording here and do a quick little grind session for something. Okay, we're back. Uh, yeah, I was attempting to get a few more bottles, but they did not want to spawn, so we're just going to keep moving on. You can get multiple, I just wasn't lucky enough. Um, still haven't gotten the rare drop from Fenrir, but they spawn in multiple areas, so we should eventually get one. Oh, no. Okay, thought we had it for a second there. bad problem about ghosts. They like to go into the walls. I don't think ghosts dropping materials. Um, after every boss of the areas, I will go through the beast area to show what we have and have not uh, fought in the area. Well, what we have fought in the area. You just can't really see what you have Bot, so I think it's yeah. and yes, I am going this way just to fill in the map. Okay, map filled in. You can get, I think, ninety percent of this map on the first go. Get back here you ghosts. I said get back here. There we go. Now we come into another area. All the money. This room has a lot of spy enemies. If you're looking to evolve your innocent devils, this is a good one. However, I would not suggest doing it because it's full of annoying enemies. And just look how much these Fenrir and the ghosts move around away from your weapon. Even with lock on, it's hard to do. I remember right uh, enemies respawn when you're two rooms away meaning I could go back to that room I was just in for them to respawn however we're continuing on we get a new skill the ability to make new weapons 
as well as he knows our fairy is looking at something. Kind of curious, huh? Let's attack and see what happens. Collect this up and then we'll go over that combined skill we just got. Now, first thing I'm doing is I'm making this and this and this. Also, always make at least three short swords. You never know when you're going to need them for some crafting recipe. So, equip that, that, and that. Do I want that? Yeah, I want that. But, okay. You may have noticed we got something called evolution crystals. You can turn them on and off. What evolution crystals do is you see that thing down there that says eat towards the bottom above the EXP. You feed evolution crystals to your innocent devils just by picking them up after they draw from enemies. And the uh, innocent devil will evolve once you hit a certain amount. You may have heard me say evolve a couple times now. It's because of that. However, you may have noticed, go back to the menu again, we have everything on this page, but we're missing one here. What could it be? Well, I'll give you a hint, it's not something we'll be getting in this video. It may not even be something we'll get in the next video, it depends on how I do next video. This is going to be longer. I am pretty much going right up to the boss. May even do the boss depending on the time. Oh yeah, also new enemies. Zombies. They're slow. They are weak. They have a really really weird attack Let's see if I can get it okay see those floating crystals there those are called evil crystals collect them they fly into your instant devil and that's how they eat the crystals anything else spawning nope okay By the way, uh, we have the option, I just forgot to mention it, or, no we don't. We don't have it yet, but we can do something like it. New enemies, wizards. They do that fireball attack as you saw, but they can also heal other enemies. Could have sworn something more spawned in this room. And by the way, there is no adjusting the brightness. I'll have to up the contrast in it. So if you see this and it's a little bit brighter than, or if you think it's a little bit brighter than what it should be, that's because I've already adjusted it. Zombies also drop wild memory. Let's see, are you going to do the... No. One of you should do the attack that I'm waiting for. And here are the last one. Are you going to do it? You're just going to keep trying to grab... Oh, 
okay. So we could go up there. Or we can go up there. Okay. Thought it was in a different area. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Zombies can't puke. It leaves a puddle that if you walk into, it will hurt you. It does like 5 damage, which at this point in the game is a decent amount. Considering we have well, only 130. That's like what? I don't know. I'm not good at quick math. Uh, 130 divided by 5 would be... What? Oh, I'm dumb. I have a calculator on my phone. Oh, new enemy. Skeleton Blades. They're faster... I don't know why they called Skeleton Blades. They're more zombie-like, but... They're faster and... A little bit tougher than zombies but at the same time once you get them into a stun through the combo system they're basically over with if I remember oh yeah you can go up there or continue on this way which is not on the map so we'll be on this way if I remember, I'll try to get the wizards to heal an enemy. Mm, potion. Okay, perfect timing. I'll smack this zombie once. And boom, wizard healed it. That's why you always go after the wizards first. As you've seen there, that zombie was trying to do its puke attack. But because I hit it, it couldn't do it. Still nothing else spawning. Could have sworn one of these rooms had multiple waves. Yeah. If you notice me block or something like that, it's because I'm trying to pull up the, uh, health bars and whatnot. I haven't set to disappear. I don't know if anybody's noticed, but this room has something special in it. Maybe I'll see in the background right now. If not, I don't blame you, but it's kind of hard to see with the way the lighting is. Let's just get these guys logged on. Okay. So this here is a chair. In this game, there are tons of chairs that you can sit in. A uh, seizure warning, by the way, for anybody who is sensitive to flashing lights. Please look away or skip to roughly a minute and a half from now maybe not even that uh you know what yeah just skip like 40 seconds ahead therapeutic chair low frequency waves soothe away your stiffness the slow price includes delivery and handling order now it's an electric chair. Okay, wait for anybody who skipped ahead. Alright, we're heading back up. New enemy, Iron Knights. They are the toughest enemy in this uh, area. And they drop aluminum, which is needed for quite a lot. 
could be making a new weapon. Punch rings. And I know there's a new sword I can make. Trust me, I'll make it when I get more of them. As always, kill the wizards first, they are the healers. A good little thing to note, your instant devils, some of them cannot be hit. Such as the fairy types, they are not able to be hit by any enemy. They're just too small for that. Come on, give me more loot. Alright, and with that piece of loom, we can make the final option that we can unlock right now. The foil. It is a different kind of sword. One moment, please. Alright, sorry about that. Family member is bringing in my switch. Uh, let's see. Should I show off the... No, I'll hold off on showing that off more useful against certain enemies than as others. These um, armor knights, they are level 7. I don't know if I mentioned that. They could be deadly if you let them get multiple combos in, but with the amount of health we have, it's barely even noticeable. It would take like three of them hanging you together to do any seemingly massive amount of damage. Also, say hello to the worst room in the game. <laughs> Early game. Because these wizards are annoying. Make good practice though for crystals and whatnot. Is that all of them? Looks like it. Alright, here's something that I didn't show off before. Not even my uh, other failed video. If you hold the block button to hit the attack button, you will do an uppercut on lighter enemies that knocks them into the air. Also, we got the best movement option in the game. It's much faster than running. And yet, it is just double dodging. It is still the fastest option for movement in the game. That staircase will take us back down to where we were before. Go in here just to kind of reset health bars and whatnot. Well, right now it's running. Oh, I should probably take care of the wizards first, but I kind of want to see if I can. Yeah, I can't out DPS them. By the way, these wizards, with how low level the enemies are, they will full heal. So, whatever healing you see that blue number pop up on the enemies, that is how much health the enemy has. Zombies have 50. And the knights have a hundred and eighty five. Sure. 
should be coming across another new enemy here soon enough, but right now, we just need to focus on what we got. If I knew how to edit, or if I had the energy to edit, like Chugga Conroy, I would put the new enemy things like he does for his videos, but I do not know how to do that, because I am not an editor, nor do I have any editing skills other than just adjusting brightness, or adding something in. You may see the new enemy in the background there. Say hello to the white dragons. They're level 10 and they're a piece of cake. That's a common theme in this game. Enemies will say they're higher level than you are. However, they are extremely weak. We've not been that lucky in terms of Evo Crystals, so let's hope we get more. Otherwise, I may end up pausing to grind some out in a room. It's coming up. And heal. How many crystals did we get for that? Just two? No bueno. Being really unlucky in terms of crystals. Good old Aquamente. Water. Those guys are jumping around too much. I'll take care of this guy first. Now you may notice, I haven't talked about it yet, but you may notice that this room has these sword-like bars on them. We are not allowed to leave while those are up. However, just kill all all the enemies in the room and you will be good to go. Okay. So we are in the foul stretch before the boss. Also, PS2 game but still got amazing backgrounds. I mean, look at that. That is so pretty to look at. Anyway, let's go through the fancy door. On decent time. Collect these from that. Okay. I'm going to pause the recording here and go do some quick grinding. I'll be back in a moment.
Okay, so I just like bit of grinding. Level 7 now. Gwen is level 7. As you can see, we jumped up from 28. Well, I don't know why I'm doing this. You can't really see it that well. From my camera pointing at the screen. Whatever. Uh, anyway, we have 38 blue crystals. We're going to get the last two. And we'll have Gwen evolve. Then we'll go take on the boss. I thought about it, and I'm going to go ahead and do the boss in this first video. Because I can. And because I kind of want to show off the boss. And how easy it is for a tutorial boss. A tutorial area. Really, most of the bosses in this game are easy. There's two or three hard ones I would say but most of them are relatively easy all right and Gwen's gonna evolve Gwen has evolved to a herbist 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 I don't know how you're supposed to say that uh, but since we're going to evolve, we will switch over to the foil because I want to show off the weapon. We will also show each different type of weapon have is it has its own crystal color: red for sword, blue for axe, as you've seen before, and yellow for fist. Each weapon has their own unique move set. Some weapons have the same move set. For instance, the uh, foil has an entirely different move set to the short sword or the Gano. The short sword and Gano both have their own same move sets. They both use the same. I don't know why it's not registering. I'm trying to show the combos, but whatever. Probably because I don't have an enemy in front. There we go. There's a three hit combo. Four hit combo. And five. You can't do a finisher on the fifth hit. Why? I don't Okay. I will save it and uh, we'll go kill the boss. Save is complete. Now let's head on to the boss room. As you notice, the boss door is fancy. Most bosses have a cutscene. Some have a better one than others. This one is just not that good in my opinion. But that's my opinion. You may have noticed with this weapon we're doing four hits in the air as opposed to the three we're doing with the short sword. That's because the maximum number of air hits you can do is one less than your ground hits. Meaning the short sword can do four total ground hits. We only like to stay towards the rear of this creature. 
this boss. Living armor, armor golem, whatever it's called, I forget. I think it's just... I think it's living armor or crazy armor or something like that. Time for phase two. This is a little bit harder, but it's not much. As you see, it still takes the same amount of damage. Only difference is now it can do fire attacks, which they don't do a lot. You're pretty much just able to ignore it. It hardly ever you will use its axe as long as you're behind it for the majority of it. Goodbye, crazy armor. Alright, I will end this video off by looking at the bestiary. Got skeletons. Executioners. Ghosts. Mermen. Skeleton blazes. Fenrirs. Zombies. Wizards. Armor knights. Cyclopses. And crazy armor. Yeah. As you can see, a lot of these guys don't really have that much health and are relatively simple just to knock out one to two hits. And some of these have hidden drops, or rare drops. Executioner is one, Fenrir is one, uh, Wizard's one, Armor Knight's one. Cyclops is one. Alright, there's the white dragon. You didn't see that one on here yet. Yeah. So that's the bestiary. And I will stop in front. Uh, actually, not. I'll stop the recording here in front of the cage. If you enjoyed, I hope I hope you did. Please leave a like, comment down below what game you want to see, what I could do better. And if you did enjoy, if you did like it, subscribe. Uh, normally they these videos won't all be this long. This is just introduction and showing off what the game looks like on up res HD uh, straight through PS2 hardware. This, I mainly did this just so the cutscenes wouldn't suck, to be honest. And so I, and because slowdown is a real drag. But yeah, like I said, subscribe if you enjoyed. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Sound a bit like Markiplier, didn't I? But whatever. Have a good night, ladies and gentlemen.